been super happy to have you here today because we want to learn from your experiences on the question how we can enhance real youth representation in agricultural policy development. For you to run a dairy farm, you should have uh, enough land to be able to produce your own feeds in terms of fodder. But uh, in Western Kenya, we have challenges to access to land. So this has an option of uh, leasing. And also what we do, uh, we also contact the youth and women who does uh, the production of fodder. Then uh, we're able to specifically maize and we're able to cut the maize and use it for the silage for the animals. We still a huge population of youth and majority of them are in the rural areas who are still relatively idle. Uh, and that also poses a risk to security issues. So it, it highly uh, demands uh, urgent attention both by the public, uh, public sector and also by the development uh, organizations to identify ways of intervening on how youth could become much more engaged. So the key issue here is to represent the uh, mechanisms, good mechanisms to be put in place so that issues that affect the youth are adequately captured, not only in the agriculture-related policy, in the agriculture sector policies, but in other related policies. In the course of the validation process of the National Youth and Agribusiness Strategy, we saw that there is a strong need to create additional platforms between the national and the county governmental levels, but also and especially between these governments and the rural youth themselves to ensure that they actually get a say and uh, make a valid contribution to their own policies and programs. The Youth in Agribusiness Western Region Conference was hosted by the counties of Bungoma, Kakamega and Siaya and held at the Bukura Agricultural College. The event attracted more than 700 rural youths and other stakeholders in the agriculture business. We now have the big four, the manufacturing, the housing, affordable housing, we have the universal health care, and we have the 100% food and nutrition security, which is the ministry now in agriculture. All the other pillars cannot work without the 100% and food and nutrition, even universal housing. Some of the technologies that the young people need to adopt in order to produce well in agribusiness is ICT. As a youth, we are able to learn from other youths what they are doing elsewhere, and uh, we're also able to showcase maybe what has worked for us, for the other youths to see. And we are able to link with the county government, the national government, and to identify the opportunities for uh, synergies. And three, we're also able to, I think, create that network within ourselves as a, as a youth. We are, we are working with the Minister of uh, Agriculture, the Zander, the ground government for technical support. We are working with uh, development partners like uh, JZ for supporting us uh, in kind or uh, helping us access some of this clean plant material from Calro. S seeing innovations, feeling them, it ended with a declaration of the youth that was handed over to the government and here in the case the governor of Siaya with the aspirations and with the demands of the youth in developing agribusiness and agripreneurship in their counties. This declaration is a joint statement. Bungoma, Kakamega and Sierra counties shall consider full youth involvement and participation in formulation and implementation of enacted policy documents for youth through gainful employment opportunities in agribusiness and related support services. There's nothing that is impossible. We need to be patient, we need to be persistent in each and everything that we are doing. And also, it's not a must to get trained in a specific area. For myself, I'm not uh, trained in uh, agriculture, but I'm able to run a dairy farm. So let's have that urge of being more of job creators and not uh, job seekers. Prominent issues in these declarations were sustainable agriculture, political representation and participation, and also exit strategies for upcoming programs. The youth saw the need to have the umbrella organization, which is going to champion their issues in agribusiness. Because for a long time, youth have not had a voice uh, to, is to air out their issues about agriculture. How do you make sure that the youth decision really gets into the policies now? One of the main things uh, that the county has done is to establish a county youth office 
which we can also channel our uh, questions, we can challenge our ideas, we can share our ideas with them, and we are able to involve youth uh, in decision making and policy uh, framework. And then we also expect that uh, we are going to have some uh, help through setting up uh, youth centers. What are the benefits to be a leader? Be able to get some trainings, that is the leadership training, the governance training, on the dynamics that youth are going through, so that you're able to understand uh, what their issues on the ground are. And also through the uh, uh, partnerships, collaboration, networking, and uh, linkages, uh, some of us have uh, gotten an opportunity just to be trained as uh, the champion of change, so that you're able to also mentor the other youth on the possible ways on how they're able to generate income in agribusiness. How are you benefiting from the process of compiling the youth declaration? It has made a lot of change in the way uh, we have approached agriculture in, 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 um, in youth. Um, one thing that it has done is it has created an attention uh, to the county government leadership and also to the partners. Uh, because right now we are seeing a great transformation in the way the county governments are dealing with youth. The youth always complain about the lack of startup capital even after technical trainings. So I would encourage mm -hmm. the youth to be able to go for the zero financing uh, model where you're able to get uh, interest-free loans or even just be able to start applying for the grants. When you choose the youth representatives in the three countries, how did you do that? To identify the youth, we are getting uh, lots of help from the youth departments and the uh, extension department from the counties, but also from our own GRZ uh, CPCs. So they were selecting and uh, approaching the youth to come to these workshops. On this workshop, the youth themselves elected in a de democratic way, they elected the the leaders for the time being, that means these leaders now are like an interim leaders and later when the um, organization will be fully registered, they will do like a, a new election. What would you do different next time in order to engage the youth? The involvement of youth should be started early so that they can effectively participate in the policy. It becomes more uh, uh, better when the youth are participate a bit more and particularly for the youth who are already uh, involved in uh, uh, agribusiness activities. So, because this is a, a real focus topic that you don't just mobilize youth to, you know, to come together to discuss issues and to have them involved, but to ensure that, that they are better involved in the actual process themselves in deciding, for instance, who participates uh, and exactly what would be the content or some of the issues that need to be discussed. So, what would you be your recommendations to our colleagues? Basically, our engagement was at the three levels. We were engaged at the county level, which is at the, the grassroots level. We also engaged at the intergovernmental level, kind of like at the, uh, the middle level. We also engaged with the youth at the national level, which is the policy making process level. During this conference also, one good thing happened. The youth are able to interact with senior officials. Um, under normal circumstances, it is usually very difficult for them to reach out to them. And also, the, it gets an opportunity through this conference for the good things that the youth are doing, the role models, to expose themselves and give them motivation. And the other youth are able to learn from them. And um, what are the emerging policy issues that require immediate attention to ensure a conducive business environment for the youth? Access to finance, access to land, and access to training opportunities. These are the real things that uh, affect the participation of the youth in agribusiness. So, and these are the key things that should, could be included in policies and programs. So that every program that is being designed, it in a way addresses how youth can access these facilities or these important inputs for agribusiness. There was another question, be how the GRZ project further supports this process of enhancing youth representation in the countries. And that we and currently we are already working out a program uh, on how we continue engaging with the youth. And one of the areas we are exploring is a mechanism for peer-to-peer -peer running. Thank you very much.